Do you hate YouTube ads? Because I do. YouTube also recently jacked up the price of YouTube Premium to almost $20 a month. But I have good news. All of my videos are now available ad-free and a day early to my Patreon supporters. For $5 a month, you get early access ad-free. I upload 25 to 30 videos a month, so you're getting a really good deal. Enjoy the video. So in what way does the Big Bang support the idea that God exists? Okay, we know in Genesis, God is speaking things into existence and they're coming to existence. And when he speak it, then they're expanding. The, the universe is expanding at the same time. Now, the Big Bang Theory <clears throat> came with an explosion, right? No. It was an explosion. And then everything started forming, right? No. What is it then? Well, it's not an explosion. It's just the, the universe expanding. <clears throat> exactly, but then it it, it came with an orb exactly. of light and then it's expand. It, okay, so that actually proved that God testimony of God what He said God is real because in the beginning God said let there be light and there was light and that light He spoke it and then the universe expanded. First of all, and he kept speaking. <clears throat> First of all, there wasn't any light uh, at the beginning of the Big Bang, not really. Second of all, He spoke it means literally he spoke nothing. It. Yeah, but that doesn't he's mean smoking. anything. He has power in his word. J just say he queefed it. That means just as much as he spoke it. Uh, that is to say it means nothing at all. Well, he spoke it, and the Big Bang Theory supports that God, God is real. Okay, <clears throat> what does it mean to speak something, and how does science confirm that idea? Okay, you could speak to plants. For example, a, a plant can hear you. If you speak words, it'll grow because of your words. What up, plant? I'm going to need you to grow real quick right now. Grow, Look bitch. Look it up. Look it up. You will see different studies <clears> that <throat> plants hear you and based upon how you say they grow. So there are powers in your words. So what is it that God did when he spoke? He spoke and what he spoke came to be. He his words. His words Bip, were so bippity powerful. Bippity boppity boo. Like what? You're not saying anything. I'm. What I'm saying is like these words so, mean nothing. To you, they don't mean nothing. They don't mean anything to you either, because you're not. Yes, you're do, not. <clears throat> that's why I'm living on. I'm living on his word. Russia, I can but you're not. But manifest. you're not saying anything. You're not listening. That's a difference. Yes, I am. You're not listening with uh, the intention to listen and learn or you're listening what you analyze and to see it. You, you think there are flaws in there. So your perception, there's a flaw everywhere. No matter what she say, it's a flaw. So that's your perception. Unless you change your perception, then you can hear and understand. <clears throat> truly. It's all about perception. Brescia, you don't understand anything you're saying because you're just making claims. I'm like, okay, so what does it mean I'm to speak? And then you told me I'm about talking it. to plants, and then you said, yeah, God spoke, and then the One universe. That is, doesn't mean anything. God, God has the ability to speak things into existence. He's the creator who can speak with his mouth. He can form with his hand as well, but his yeah. words, he can... That doesn't like mean anything. Okay, well, let me you, let me give you an example. Let me give you. I have I have a car. It's a it's a really unique car. It it runs off of uh, bippity boppity boo. That's what actually makes my car go vroom. Bippity boppity boo. Car go vroom. Okay. So, do you believe me? Do I believe you? Well, cars run off gas. Yeah, but mine so runs on bippity boppity boo. Car go vroom. Bibbity bobbity boo can mean gas. <laughs> okay. But <laughs> sure, but I'm telling you that that's not what it means. My car doesn't run on gas, it runs on you know, bibbity bobbity boo. You know, now and day, you can run on cars off. All you gotta do is charge it at home, you can charge it at your house. My car doesn't so, run on electricity. It runs on bippity boppity boo. 
Bibbity bobbity boo means something, equals something. It's just like an equation. Like you got four X plus five X. No, it doesn't it doesn't mean, mean that either. Bibbity bobbity boo is its it own means thing. Something. It Look, means you just, something. <clears throat> you're not you're not trying to understand what I'm saying. It runs off of You're not trying to bibbity. understand what I'm saying. You're trying to prove a point that you think that's valid, but it's not. Oh, you got a little flash card. And, uh, okay, I see you. Yes. So I'm just making something up and then not telling you what bippity boppity boo is and then just telling you to accept it. When you say from God spoke. I can piece things together. That's the difference. I can, if you tell me bippity boppity boo, I know how things work and operate. So I know, wait. Might be gay. Wait, so then it might tell be a car. Yes. Wait, it might be a solar panel car. This is good. I like I like where you're going with this. You're exactly correct. We know how cars work. So we could explain all the different things that make cars work. So if I say bippity boppity boo, we could just be like, okay, well, that could be, I don't know. It could be something. Now, the reason I bring that up is now let's try that with God. God spoke. Okay, does God have vocal cords? Did he literally yes. say words? Yes, he got vocal cords. Okay, so how does saying things create a universe? Because I think all you're going to be able to do is just say, He walked he did. by faith. He walked by faith. He had the faith in, to believe in what he was saying. That doesn't, tell me how, that doesn't tell me how anything happens. That's just like an additional You ain't never experienced claim. yourself before. Like, uh, you might say today would be a good day and, and start manifesting in your day. You ain't never had that before? Have coincidences happened? Yes. So that proves that what actually God spoke actually happened because you could see it in your life. That's no, an example. No, but that, that doesn't prove anything. Uh -huh. Because that you don't... Mean... No. Look, take it as a scientific experiment, all right? It's not. And, and you, it's take it not. just like that, but you're using your own personal life, right? Now, no, God, that's spoke, such a bad way to. It came to existence. And you speaking of yourself today, gonna be a good day, and it comes to existence. So you must, you gotta look at that, be like, hmm, that most, got some truth to it, validity to it. No. I was looking to that. Most, and then you search it out deep. Science actually proved that God is real, man. I'm telling y'all, I'm so serious. Science, everything proved that God is real. And real. It's just the way you analyze it and connect the dots. When God gives you the connection, you'll understand that it goes hand in hand. Brescia, most, am I saying that right? It's Brescia, but I've been called Brescia before, so I understand okay. what you call me. Okay, okay, Brescia. Um, most days are good days, and I don't require God uh, the, the God hypothesis isn't required to explain it. For example, I don't have butthole worms right now. If I did, then I would ha be having not such a nice day, right? But you I'm, I'm relatively healthy. I've got a little bit of, I've got a little bit of money. My kitty's right over here and she's adorable. None of this, none of this is explainable by God. And that, that's not a scientific test Man, fine. it's so much science back up god is real i'm telling you uh-uh i'm like, telling pray, you could you you know what i want right now i want a mcchicken could you pray for a mcchicken for me god is not a genie you know a lot of people there, think so we can't test god i mean he can give you a mac chicken but i want to insult him and ask and pray for mac chicken like i'm just oh god do this didn't do this for me no it don't work like that he you just you said that it does work like that. Oh, I'm ask saying, ask for good things chicken, and it'll happen because of God. Not, not, but not, not for McChickens. It you can you could buy a McChicken in, in your uh, money or pocket. Or he I could just pray for one. He already made a way. He got you got a job, mm. you got paid, you can go to the store and get a McChicken. Yeah. He made a I, way just I, 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 not him. I him, I him him no him. he didn't do shit i wrote my own resume i got my own degree and no, then i got my second degree have you the ability to do it no he didn't yes he did he knew even How? though you probably say you but he still gave you the strength because god is good like that he knew you're gonna be like i did it this i is, did it. 
This is the most convenient argument of all time. Every single thing is because of God. Uh, and I can it prove it because it happens. Okay, ask God to do this universe. one thing. Well, no, 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 no. God will not be tested like that. This is so Look. dumb. Look, that's why God gave your own money so you could buy you some mac chicken. Why are you going to pray for mac chicken when you go back home? <laughs> Your prayer already because asked. because it would prove that God. I Your would start. I would start believing when in, you go to work and get paid, and then go to the store. I would and start buy believing people. in God right now if that happened. You know God is real, but you don't want to believe. So I do not believe that God is real. The only God I believe in is this pretend one named Spanky, which we're not going to get into. That's Spanky. called I idolatry in in the Christian faith. Yeah, well, you then I hope you don't wear a cross necklace. I mean, I, I, I had a cross neck and made for the past. Uh, well, really that's that's a graven neck. image. You better not. I really don't wear a cross neck. I, I mean, I probably had some when I was in the past. In the past, maybe. Yeah, well, eternal sins last forever. No, it don't. If you got Jesus Christ, I don't, you by yourself on that one. Oh, man. Can I get a McChicken? Okay, have you read in the Bible he was feeding the children of Israel? He was feeding them chicken and, and, and manna, so that's like a chicken sandwich. So that's like a chicken sandwich. The manna and the quail. So it's like a chicken sandwich. And then he made fish, fish and he made fish and um bread and he multiplied. Oh, so them. so Jesus is invited so, to the fish fries? Is that what you're is that what you're saying? I mean, you would have a lot of fish. I mean, you would never run out. Did Jesus invent the fish oh, fry? Run out of fish. Huh? Did Jesus invent the fish fry? Basically, yeah, because when he fed them folks with the fish, yes, he did. So, so, so Jesus can come to the cookout? That, that's what you're saying? We need him at the cookout because we're going to have abundance. Like, All right, can if, I come? If we don't invite him, huh? Can I come? Yeah, God said, "Come to him." He said, "You come." Hell as yeah! But for real though, when they used to <clears> sacrifice <throat> some animals, that's like barbecue and um, fish fry and stuff like that. That's basically what these. Think about on. it. You know I'm not lying. You know I'm not lying. Think about it. When no, I I I believe you are wholly sincere. I just think it's goofy. Yeah, you better invite Jesus to the cookout because we're going to have a bunch of food. We'll never run out of food. We'll be like, Satan won't need you because we got Jesus. We don't need Satan. We got Jesus. Well, he can just, like if you him. run out, he can just divide the loaves, right? And multiply the fish. He can do it however he wants to. However he wants to. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, what do you want to talk about now? I don't know what you want to talk about now. Any other question that you have or something? Um, I typically like answer the questions, I guess, on here. That's just kind of, kind of typically how we do things. I hear you, but I'm saying, is there any other question that you have, or may possibly sometimes it's like okay. So here would be my question: If the way God does things is through His powers that are beyond our comprehension then I don't think you could ever use a scientific argument to justify this happened because of God. Because in science, we never accept magical causes or supernatural causes, and they're completely unexplainable. Um, <clears throat> so I really don't get the scientific arguments for God thing. Those have never made any sense to me. Well, it's like this. It's not that science the patterns and the way science works right it works in tandem to god it it it, it works in every order and structure he has set up like it basically like it, it's so parallel to god you know it, it has so much evidence if you don't think so science is very important to god i promise you because it was like he he's the master scientist. It was like a scientist discovering a new land or new species. That what God was. He did everything like he was in the lab. He was in the lab and he created everything. 
everything. He had, you know what I'm saying? You you feel what I'm saying? No. <laughs> it was like he was, he's the master. You're speaking Japanese. Of all times. I mean, God was that scientist. Like, he, he was that, that, that scientist that he was so good to he created a whole nother world. He created a whole universe. He was just that type of sign. He created you and me. <clears throat> and then he found a way pretty to keep sure, Pretty things. sure my mom and dad did all the work on that. Yeah, he gave them the ability to do that. God had, he no, had he to, didn't. He, put his, he put in his creatures the reproduction thing, you know, in order for them to produce children. He put in whatever, whatever thing that they needed and he blessed it. He blessed it. He gave his good, you know, you know, good message and blessed it so it can reproduce. He had, his word brought you in by just saying, be fruitful, multiply. By his word, we hear today from our parents because his word. That's how powerful he word. He word so powerful that he can make children come up. But he can't make a McChicken appear right in front of me. Him That's Mac insane. That's why he got McDonald's. That's why he let people build McDonald's. That's your chicken sandwich right there. You ain't got no excuse. He offer you chicken sandwich all at McDonald's and Burger King and whatever other places. Those are McChicken. I don't chicken. like Burger King's oh, chicken sandwiches. I think they're pretty bad. Who at my dog? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Who at my dog? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, okay. I'm doing good. Okay. Okay, appreciate it. Uh, is, this is so wholesome. All right, Brisha, you probably can't hear me, but I'm going to let you go. But thank you. What you say? I, I, hold on. What you say? I'm still talking to you. I've, I don't know if you're talking to me. I'm just saying I'm going to let you go, but thank you. You gonna let me go? What you mean? I'm going to hang up on you. Why? We just started talking. Oh well, yeah, but I'm. Uh, yeah, but it's not going anywhere. You're just kind of saying yeah. stuff. Oh, I thought you said you're just gonna say you go. So. No, I got other people that are that are dying to talk to me. So, anyways. Have a you good just day. don't want to hear the truth. Uh, sure. <laughs> 